Xin chào Việt Nam, my name is Alison McNamara and I'm World Supermodel Australia 2017 and the first runner-up World Supermodel. I've always prided myself in being very well presented and dressed and so it was an honour to win the Best Designer Award at the production. I had put a lot of effort into all of the outfit choices I was making prior to the competition and so the time and effort, it was something that I had hoped I would win but the fact that I did just made the experience a lot better. So during the question and answer part I got asked what is your biggest fear? And I said that my biggest fear was disappointment because in life I strive to do everything to the best of my ability and so disappointment is something that I always try to avoid. So once I finished my uni degree I plan to continue modelling uh, internationally in New York or London and I'd also like to try out the Asian market, so definitely Vietnam and Japan or South Korea. I just really want to travel. <laughs> Yes, definitely. Seeing where the Miss Teen Australia title took me, I would like to see where the adult competition would take me as well. And I think it'll be a very different competition with older competitors and I like the challenge that I would be offered. And yeah, it's definitely something that I would consider doing. I was just turned 18 and I was checking Instagram and saw that the Marc Jacobs page had posted a competition where they were looking for the new face of their spring-summer 2015 campaign. They had done the campaign in the past and so I was interested in entering it next. And so you just had to hashtag one of your photos of yourself and they would choose a select few to travel to New York for a casting and so I hashtagged one of my photos and received a message saying that I had moved on to the next round and so I had to send in more photos and a video so they could get my personality and different angles mm -hmm. and then I got the final message that I had been confirmed and so that's when they started to organise the flights and visas. So yeah. we've just come with family Grandma. for a holiday yeah. and I'm meeting Grandma. or seeing again some very not so familiar faces because the last time I was in Vietnam I was very, very young. And so I'm seeing old relatives and then doing the charity work as well and just seeing the new city with some old faces, yeah. Mm. So before we came to Vietnam, mum had asked me, what do you want to do, where do you want to go? And so I went online and looked at where, where the places were to go and I had seen photos of this pink building and I didn't know what it was but I was looking through a lot of photos and almost every second photo was of this pink building and so I'd asked my mum what it was and it was a pink church and mm -hmm. I briefly drove past it last night and so I definitely want to see what's What's the hype around that? Gon tik an ban seo. Yes, I think that this trip 
is a bit short and there's a lot more that I want to see mm. and not only in Ho Chi Minh City. Um, I think it's a beautiful country that I haven't really gotten to experience wholly yet, so I think I really want to do that with my family. Oh yes, <laughs> I think there's always something interesting to learn about um, international countries and their entertainment industry and because I have you know, something to do with Vietnam, the show business industry is intriguing to me and so I would like to get involved in that. Xin chào Vietnam, hẹn gặp lại. Mình đang xin.